folks to how I rob trains. We're here in the gloomy muggy city of Saint Denis, where we're going to board a train as the first step. And not only how I rob trains, but how I rob trains with zero bounty, zero pursuit, and generally about five hundred dollars, give or take a few bucks in profit. So. Uh, a few caveats, I do not wear a mask, I do not wear a bandana, um, I do rob the train in a tunnel, <clears throat> if you're aware of, I'm not sure, it's probably got a few names, the tunnel trick, tunnel glitch, north of Grizzlies East, up in Amberino, uh, the general gist, the outline is you rob a train to the north, you take it to the tunnel, you take the driver, and when you're in the tunnel, none of the passengers will get out. This does give you a massive hit to your honor. Um, as you can see, my honor's kind of down in the tanks right now. Um, early in the game, I'm in uh, Chapter 2, just before I do the mission with John, which sort of kicks off the end of Chapter three, 2 and gets us into Chapter 3. Um, so, I generally like to... I've already... I've beaten the game once. This is my, my second playthrough this file. So this is... I like to keep this playthrough here, just to sort of enjoy the happiness of... Nobody's been shot in the head yet, and you know, we still need more money, but I mean, I've got lots, and I've already upgraded my guns a bunch, and I'm not bringing any with me, like, you don't, you, you shouldn't need any, the only people that you have to fight are on the train, you, you shouldn't have any law pursuit, so you've only got, you know, four or five guards plus an engineer, so you don't need any more than your revolvers, I've got my double action, which I've currently got all painted gold for some gaudy reason. I probably shouldn't pull it out in that train station. And I've got Flacco's revolver on my on my offhand. i got the bear trinket and the... You can't see it. My stupid snake gloves are in the way. In this place, you know? Oh well. I've got the weird compass trinket on my holster. I kind of like it. There it is. You can sort of see it there. A little circle. Not well, but... Alright. So, step one. Go to Saint Denis. Step two. Take a train to Ansburg. Okay, so a quick fast forward later, and we're here in chilly. Well, I guess it's not that chilly. It's 24 degrees Celsius. That's a nice, com nice, nice, comfortable day here in Ansburg. So we're just gonna wait on the train for a minute. As you can tell, we got the good train. Well, the decent train, anyway. I was gonna do this earlier, but all the benches were made of wood. So if you do this leaving Valentine, you're not gonna get a very good train. You're not going to get this train. You're going to get the train with only one cargo car up front. And then, like, there'll be the... There'll be the engine of the train at the very front. Then there'll be the coal car. Then there'll be one cargo car. And then you'll have your passenger cars. But, as you can see, these, these benches are, you know, upholstered and nice. The last... There, you, know, you can see down at the end there, those benches are made of plywood way, way, you know, two cars back. And the train I was on, every car looked like that. It was it was not a high value train. It would not have worked so well for this. It wouldn't have made quite as much money. So I had to start over. And when you leave from Saint Denis, it looks like you always get this train, which is uh, not the blue, super opulent train that you get sometimes out in the world randomly. That one's usually pretty nice. You'll get some nice bill stacks and some good stuff out of the safes in, in those trains. 404, right? There we go, we're moving. Alright, sometimes the trains like to glitch out. Remember to whistle. Bring your horse with you. Hopefully he doesn't get hit by the train here. That would be tragic. Hopefully he continues to follow this whole trip. One, two, three. My preferred perspective is the third person perspective. Usually zoomed all the way out. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a marker on the map so we know when to move. <clears throat> we're leaving Ansburg here, going north. We're going to go over Brandywine. There's one bridge here. A little bridge tunnel. It's the third bridge tunnel. Let me progress just past the legendary bear point. And on this pip, that's when I start to move. We're going to take the train in the tunnel, and that matters. 
<clears throat> because when you're in the tunnel, none of the passengers get out of the train. Which means you can rob all the passengers at a nice, comfortable pace. You don't have to rush. You can individually, you know, shoot each passenger. And like I said, you will take a massive hit to your honor for this because you're going to rob each passenger. You're going to shoot each passenger. And then you're going to loot each passenger's body afterwards. Well, I like to call it the shoot and loot. It's, uh, it's definitely dirty, but it'll make you some money. So, if you don't mind the honor hit, and like you can, as you can see, no mask, no bandana. Brazen daylight robbery. It's uh, 4.30 p.m. You're just riding a train. Almost there. You don't want to take it too soon because you don't want the train driver to freak out and stop. There's my pip. And go. Just One, two, three, four. Now this part gets tricky because it's very dark. Stop driving. Hey, what? What? Why am I here now? There we go. Drive train. Oh, we are stopped. Excellent. Let's hop off the driver's seat. There should be one more guard back there. Maybe two. A couple of folks moving. Dirt. There we go. Alright. So, as you can see, there are. Well, there is rather a red law enforcement wanted circle. But that shouldn't matter. That should disappear in a moment. We're gonna run back up here to the first cargo car. Expanded map just in case. Yeah, we should be. Yeah, the train definitely didn't. Oh yeah, we're well enough inside the tunnel. So. There's the... Let's search the cabinet first. Sometimes you... There we go. See, the wanted went away. There we go. I still, as you can see, I have no wanted level, no bounty. <clears throat> nobody's, nobody's actually coming after me. Um, this is still not on, release to use, I haven't, I haven't put it on yet, uh, dynamite, so this is how you get into safes, oh shit, this is not how you get into safes, oh no, ooh, I've never done that before, I don't know what's going to happen now. Um, cool. Well, train's on fire. That's neat. I don't know if the next car will catch. I hope it doesn't. It's made of metal. <laughs> Oops. All right. out. So, you push R2, not L2, R2 to place the dynamite. Put that away. And then triangle to ignite the dynamite. And you want to get far enough away that the blast won't hurt you. And see the red circle's back, but 
nobody's actually going to show up. So I've placed the second dynamite. Put that away. Ignite the dynamite. And I go back and I loot this first car. So still full, not bad. I already have a pocket watch, so I can't take that one. And that's all that's in there. So not so great. But it's only the first car. <clears throat> and this does require us to loot everybody. There will be nothing left behind. Gold wedding ring, that right there is why. And we do have the magic satchel, the Legends of the East satchel, which allows us to carry 99 of any item. I'm not sure how much... I don't know what I actually have in terms of jewelry and loot I actually have in my satchel right now. Uh, kit, valuables, silver chain, I'm saving that, I'm saving the meteorite, I got some orchids. So I already have an earring, a couple rings, but not much. So we're gonna just sort of ignore, I guess, the silver for now, the two, two rings and the earring. A couple of those things are for crafting trinkets. We did those bodies, we did that cupboard. Oh, I missed that cupboard there. Still, no bandana, no mask, no matter. Premium cigarettes are special. Oh, I can't carry anymore. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna smoke one. It's not like we're worried about cancer. Tuberculosis is going to get me in the end anyway. I don't need any chewing tobacco because I'm full and I don't get cards from it. There's no point in trying to pick it up. Back in here, we start on car two. That's what I should do. Oops. Is smoke another one in case there was premium cigarettes on a body. It doesn't tell you. Always. Sometimes you can get, rarely, but sometimes you can get, I believe, premium cigarettes from a body. But if you're full of an item, it's not like in a cabinet where it will tell you, hey, you're full of this item. And there's an item right in front of you that you can clearly see, but you got no more room for that in your satchel. With the body, there's, it's just, you just don't get to pick it up, and it doesn't tell you that you didn't get to pick it up. Dollars, coin sack, and some money. And I didn't open this cabinet first. Oh, look at that, it didn't glitch. Sometimes he just reaches through a cabinet that remains closed. But I didn't get anything. I think I should get a coin sack from this chest. It's usually the same stuff. Yeah, coin purse, yeah. Okay, so, Please, don't I'm just going to fast forward through this part because it's going to now, take I'm a couple minutes, but basically what you're going to do is you rob them, no, don't. she gives you, you know, 1055 right there, two platinum earrings, you lose some honor, do and then you shoot her, I don't want to shoot her in the head, that's rude. And then you loot her and you get a little bit more off the, off the corpse. They never give you quite everything. Sometimes you get money with that. Another four dollars. Plus a potent miracle tonic. You dare for stupid. So, Hand we're just gonna do this all the way through the train. Alright, so that's all the passengers, and there's no more guards, so we just walk through these last couple of cars, there's usually a bit of ammo and some more provisions, hair pomade, so 
Still no bandana, still no mask. Still no bounty, still no wanted level. I make quite as much money as I thought I'd make so far on cash. See the when I say I make like almost five hundred dollars sometimes I, I include the the items that I've picked up, the loot, um, the rings and the earrings that I sell. Mainly I don't generally count the provisions. But I had what like forty four oh five I think when I started and I'm up you know, a little bit anyway. <laughs> Can't do the math in my head right now. <laughs> 166 over 150 cash anyway just from the the guards and the passengers yeah, two saves if you count the ammo which isn't worth much but I mean there's some provisions and stuff that I got hair tonic Turn off my lantern. There we go. Put it in my bag. Alright, so sometimes it likes to glitch out and the red circle will appear as I try to leave the tunnel. If the red circle appears as I try to leave the tunnel, I just turn around, go back in the tunnel until the red circle disappears, and then I exit the tunnel when nobody's looking for me. <clears throat> that's the that's the trick here. If you leave the tunnel while they're looking for you, then you may be found. No one's looking, no one's looking, no one's looking. So, I think I got away with it. The only way to really know is to get back to town. But, there's no red circle. I can still do John's mission, as you can see on the map down there. All the shops should be open. There's no red. I'm not wanted in Amberino. I can do John's mission. Uh, the hotel is accessible. That's not. Some of these missions are not apparently accessible on them. Her shops, rather. Not entirely sure why that's the case, but looks like I pulled it off. Downside to this current situation is my horse is well out of range. <clears throat> So, I have a bit of a... Oh, it's not that far. Look at that. The horse followed me most of the way. So, I just gotta run back the train track a little bit. You'll get to your horse. And then you can just cinematic mode back to Ansberg. Hop on a stagecoach. Now, if you go direct right after robbing this train, if you go directly back to uh, Ansberg and then take a stagecoach to Saint Denis. The train will probably glitch, and it'll just sit there in Ansberg and not leave. And that could be because that train is still actually, like, spawned in the world and sitting in the tunnel and blocking it. The game, ah, there we go. The horse is close enough to come. Um, yeah, so give it some time before you go rob the next train. But, you know, 4571, you know, made 165 cash. Material valuables. I picked up a couple more of those. I picked up a couple of those. One of those. I got some plates. More necklaces. Different earrings and rings. So yeah, I don't know. I probably made you know at least two fifty, probably almost three hundred dollars, which isn't bad for just a few minutes' work there. My honor went down a whole tick. It's a little bit deeper in the red. Um. But uh, I'm not too worried about that in this playthrough. There's my horse. You can just, like, spend a couple of days walking around through San Denis saying hello to everybody, and that'll raise your honor right back up. So, there you have it. How to rob a train and get away with it.